I just came for that. A very good morning to everyone here, or welcome here. And I'm so uh, very happy to see you on that table. So with the meeting of minds here, we hope that everybody here can, if nothing else, take away a new partnership, a new network possibility. It's going on in your in your workspaces or in your institutions. So that's like the rock bottom. At you know, this point I'm trying to make here because as a policy and development practitioner, it's very clear to us that we search our policies in the realms of knowledge increasingly. And that actually the creative potential of any pure research idea really manifests itself and it struggles in a real world. So this the fresco I took from Sistine Chapel is actually supposed to indicate this coming together of ideas and the real world so that we really have the best benefits that flow towards society and humanity. So it is with this, this is the real objective uh, that we hope we move away from incremental improvement in our little niche areas and just grow knowledge in its pure form towards actually intersecting with each other's different realms so that that constructed knowledge transforms lives. So that's the real objective. So here is a very quick seven slider on what we all said today. We recognize the complexity of challenges, recognizing that urbanization is the key. These are all some kind of very necessary platitudes which you remind yourself with that this is a key to economic growth. It has to be in consonance with regional decentralized development. Heritage and human aspirations and ecology have to be taken into account in development. Economy, ecology, social patterns, formal, informal transactions create contestations and, and opposing impulses and problematize planning. So this has to be recognized. And having recognized the search for solutions today have suggested that we of course reiterate that planning is important for both greenfield and brownfield cities, for inclusive and progressive cities. This really requires a convergence of initiatives and perspectives that bring together concerns of disparate communities fragile biotic resource base to evolve sustainable habitat frameworks and humane empathic processes of development planning. And that we need to evolve from sector strategy compartmentalization and binaries like people versus technology towards the design thinking of cities. There are opportunities both present and maybe ahead. There is considerable effort in terms of research in urban sciences and engineering and urban management and habitat studies and knowledge institutions like IITs, IMSP, and so on. There are specific mechanisms within them like CUs and so on. So in the rounds encouraging innovations like low-cost housing in IDM and solar decathlon in IDB, there are more so dot, dot, dot. However, there is a need for institutional networks to evolve multidisciplinary strategies. There are those within these institutional mechanisms, but we can have more inter-institutional networks. There is a need to work closely with major programs that seek to leverage urban transformation like JNNURM, DMRC, and we can go on adding to that list like the National Disaster Management, and that list can go on. Actually, Amitav mentioned that list too, to take research challenges and to take, to derive actually research challenges Curriculum design, academic in intervention in interest areas from life contexts, and vice versa to transfer technology for informed decisions. So therefore, to marry technology with citizen-centric, participatory, and democratic processes to evolve sustainable designs. Some of the research areas which may require intensively to be looked at on both physical and social issues in an integrated user-centric perspective may include, this is a random list, it's not organized, materials, energy, water, housing, transportation. It's a mix of, uh, of a specific sector and its use. I'm aware of the mix-up uh, uh, in this. Huh? Transportation, waste, sensors, public health, vulnerability, densification. So you can go on and you can create a taxonomy for this. this is not an epistemological taxonomy. It's simply a random, a random listing. I want to make that point very clear. Then we need to have big data and sensor data fusion. That is important for us, smart cities. Very quick next steps would be to refine this dialogue to make it more precise through more focus. So we had two offers immediately. Uh, so that was a Jane and URM and DMRC, and we can pick up that offer. People can raise their hands for that, and we can go on to that. Capacity development. Short-term executive programs, land housing, sustainable. This, a lot of this is what Amita Bede had, had put up. Compendium of appropriate technologies, skilling, projectization, data analysis, integrated multidisciplinary planning, and descent. So these are capacity which, which you can do through your various institutional mechanisms. You can actually take on joint research projects with multidisciplinary 
approach addressing life problems, and you can look locally and enable national agendas for which additional funds would be made available. You can look, you can do a whole lot of policy critiques, reevaluation, and case studies, and refine the way policy takes decisions. And of course, you can have a cell in the MHRA to coordinate efforts and to support this with additional funds. Steps that can follow can include more disciplinary standards for urban planning and more, more schools, credit transfers for more integrated cognition, habitat resource center perhaps, urban observatory maybe, south-south collaboration of similar experiences. So this is what we put together.